Hey everyone, Reed Hendricks, and in my first Everyday Carry video, I showed you some of those items on the tabletop. What we're going to do now is we're going to show you how they look on the body when you're carrying them, and you're going to find that it's a lot easier to carry than you realize. All right, everyone, here's the deal. I know you guys want to see where a lot of this equipment can go, you know, where to let it ride at. You can see right away, you see the importance of a good belt because I'm carrying up this pistol, this pistol, uh, and spare magazines on it. And that, it's not real heavy, but it can get heavy. We want a good belt to do that. Uh, as I said, this is my backup gun, my Smith & Wesson Shield. I normally rock a 38 revolver. You guys will figure out why uh, next week when I put another video out. But today it's the Shield. Uh, backup gun is free, man. It doesn't matter what kind of backup gun it is. Just make sure it's in a serviceable caliber, 38, 9, 40, 45, 357, whatever you want to do. Um, but uh, that's what that is right there, appendix. I always like to have a, pen, a pistol appendix. Uh, for a lot of reasons. Um, as you see, i um, got my main gun right here, my, my Glock 19 and that NSR holster I'm telling you about. It's right there at the four o'clock. Got my Emerson knife, okay? And, and on this side right over here, you'll see that this is my magazines pouch. The uh, reason I got my shirt tucked in is so that you can see these items. People are like, you walk around like that? Uh, no, I do not. I'm showing you for the, for the purpose of demonstration. Uh, magazines, as I said here. Now, when you place your spare magazine, it's very important to think about something. Can you get to your spare magazine with one hand? If you were down to one hand only, can you reach either in front of your body or behind your body and get your spare magazines? Okay, if you cannot do that, if you cannot do either one of those things, then you've got to question it. Of course, if I can get it with my right hand, of course I can get it with my left hand. If I was down to my left hand only, I could grab either one of these. I can grab either one with my forward hand as well and behind as well. So we've got to consider that. All right, folks, just to show you this, and, and I showed you with the shirt tucked in so that you could see where these items were, but here's what it looks like with, when you pull your shirt over. It's really not that big of a deal, you know, to wear this, this stuff concealed. I mean, keep in mind, I've got two pistols, two magazines, uh, and, and that's it. I mean, you don't even know it's there. So this is just a large t-shirt, and I'm, you know, not that big of a guy, but this is just a large t-shirt. You know, address your, uh, your clothing accordingly. You know, you know what you need. But this is me with two full magazines and two full-size pistols in there, at least two mid-size pistols. So it's not that big of a deal. You can do this. What we're going to do now is we're going to talk about some of that optional equipment, that medical equipment, especially that I mentioned in the first video. Okay, I carry cargo pants and cargo shorts in the summertime. I know a lot of you out there don't do that because of work or whatever. I know you, some of you rock in jeans and dress slacks. There are ankle medical kits as well that will fit all of these items I'm about to show you. All right, the first thing that we want to have guys and gals is most certainly a tourniquet. This is an SOF tactical tourniquet generation 2. Okay, I really like this tourniquet a lot. Metal windlass can really crank down on it and get that blood stopped. Okay, this is what you want to have because blood loss is going to lose a lot more people than other kinds of injuries. So we got to be able to stop that bleeding. All right, another part of the medical kit that I carry uh, is what I do is this. I got gauze in there. Uh, I've got quick clot. I've got a nasal airway in there. I've got duct tape and a chest decompression needle. Uh, this kit right here with these items will stop the majority of gunshot wounds, knife wounds, and even car wreck trauma. So there's a lot of things going on at this kit. It doesn't take up much space. And as I said, you can put a lot of these in an ankle medical kit and that will work just fine. Also, you see here my knife. Uh, I've got Emerson CQC7 right there that I carry. Uh, every day with me and have for, well, the past 11 years. All right, folks, I hope that you all found this video helpful. And I want a lot of you good people out there to start carrying your guns because the more good people we have out there with guns, the better off this world's going to be. And I hope that this gives you better ideas. I hope it gives you more understanding of the things that you may need. Take what you want and leave the rest. But this is Reed Hendricks reminding you that the lessons that we learn are written on the tombstones of others. A carry video for the, some of the things that I think you all need to carry. Uh, I showed you some of the items on the tabletop. Sorry. What the hell is your problem? I'm sorry. <laughs> You're so weird. <laughs> the snort. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me get the focus right. Okay, how is it that I'm not laughing and you are? You're not even in front of the camera. Right now. This will be good outtake. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, Lord. Okay. Are you good now? All right.